Hello, my name is Stephanie Smith and I'm reviewing a website for one of my courses at Walden University. Please um, excuse my vocal quality as I am battling a uh, and have had laryngitis for the past few days. Um, the site that I've chosen to review is called computershand.com. I will be using the real method created by Alan November, author of Web Literacy for Educators. As you come to the website, you can see that it is um, very exciting and has some very really eye-catching graphics. And it also immediately starts with a video, which I have paused, but um, I will review it. Do you want to look great in the office? Hi, I'm Hannah Yasmin, and I want to introduce you to Computer Tan. Computer Tan is a revolutionary new way to keep you looking healthy, young, and attractive in the office. Are you tired, overworked, and pasty? Just go to computertan.com, and you can have that just come back from holiday look all year round. Computer Tan is as easy as it looks. This technological breakthrough is enabled by converting the electrical impulse delivered to your PC into radiated, factory-free UVC rays. So go on, beat the winter blues. Log on to computertan.com and receive your free online tanning session right now. And feel fantastic. Log on to computertan.com right now and receive your exclusive free trial and try our exclusive range of tanning creams. Computertan.com. It's fantastic. First of all, I have to say that I think that little commercial is hilarious, and um, the first time that I saw it, uh, I actually thought, that's pretty cool. So, <laughs> I knew that it was not actually a real uh, available product, however, it, it's kind of a neat idea. So, if it can persuade someone to me, like myself to think that way, um, there's no telling what it can do for um, some of my students. Um, like I said, I was going to use the real method, and um, so starting with R, which is C2 read URL. Um, as you can see, it's just computertan.com, which tells us that it is a commercial site, and anyone can own a domain for that. Uh, as we go along on E for examining the content, uh, just go through and see where it says about us. And then basically here it just shows you um, more commercial quality for the product. It doesn't really tell you anything about the computer tan or the computer tan team. Under technology, uh, it gives you several different reasons why this is a safe device to use. And it uses a lot of abbreviations and acronyms. So that tells us that um, it makes it more it makes it look more convincing, especially in the eye of a student who thinks that um, just because it has what looks like a convincing um, acronym may make it be true. There are a few um, tanning tips, as they say, and I just think it's funny that uh, they say that they only recommend it for three times a week. There's also a section for frequently asked questions. And although you would think that these would be silly, they actually have very convincing answers to them. And so, again, it could be something that anyone who doesn't know the wiser would actually be very convinced by these answers. As far as products go, the first thing that you'll notice on here is that there are several different ways to pay for your product. However, I'm trying to click on them now and there's not a limit for those, which is probably a good thing because I'm sure people would be trying to purchase them. So they have several different products that you can buy. Um, and they really are not available products. Uh, if you click on the product button, it just takes you back to the same page. Tanning tips takes you back to the page that we already visited. You'll notice down here it just says copyright, but it doesn't tell you when. So we don't really know who the author is, which is the A step in the real method. Ask about
about the author and owner. Again, that would be something that you would typically find in the About Us section, but all it does is sell the product. Uh, they keep telling you about this free trial that is available. They also have a mobile application, and when you click on that, it takes you to a different iTunes site. So that's not something that we're interested in doing right now. And if you click on your free session, Welcome to ComputerTime.com. This is where it tells you. Basically, this just sure tells us to um, set it up, let it go, this is how it is. You can also enable your webcam. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I will show you all my beautiful face. So it takes a moment to calibrate. And then once it is finished calibrating, it opens up to the tanning bulb. And what makes it seem like this is actually your visit. However, it begins to show us pictures of actual patients with skin cancer. So in all actuality, this is not promoting tans. It is actually uh, promoting healthy skin care and um, trying to convince people to uh, take care of their skin. From this experience, I have learned that no matter how convincing a website may look, there are definitely things that you need to look for, such as um, the ending parts of the URL. If it's a .com, then just about anybody can use it because it's for commercial purpose. Um, Org and EDU are the ones that uh, usually tend to be more trustworthy. Uh, and .gov as well. .org can also be used by just about anyone, so they you pay special attention to those. The content is arranged very nicely on this page, and so um, you really have to dig deep and read it and reevaluate it just to make sure that you're getting the right kind of information. Um, this helps me understand my own thinking as I explore the site by actually, you know, really evaluating what it is that I'm looking for. And I believe that once you click around and you explore all the different links, you find out what what you're really what the purpose of the site is. I really like this activity, and I think I could use it with my students. We have a um, a standard implemented to find reliable resources, and I think this would be an excellent way um, to get the students to think critically about the information that they are looking for. And as you can see at the end here, you can hoax a friend. So if you wanted to play a fun little trick on your friends, you could enter their email. So, Anyway, this is a very interesting activity and it's helped me learn what I need to show my students and hopefully I can take this back to the classroom and show them what they need to look for.